Beaconville. I come to you six months into the start of this new program. Don't judge us on the first six months. Judge us on where we'll be at in a year or two. But I can tell you that we're going to play hard every night. Uh, we're going to compete every game. And we're going to come to work every day. Uh, we're very happy with where we are in the standings right now, but we're not content, so we're going to keep pushing. We want to stay in the present while looking forward to the to the future, too. So uh, we definitely want to improve on the past years and, and have our strongest push yet. Yeah, really excited about uh, Monin Park. Was just out there yesterday. Again, the field's uh, pretty much completed besides just a couple of landscaping things. Uh, but it's going to be a game changer. It's going to be a, a fantastic playing facility. Um, you know, having that Fenway Park feel is going to be outstanding. Give us a really true home field advantage. Uh, it's great for recruits. Just walk the five-star recruit up there, uh, and and that's what it's about. You know, you're going to get better players. You're going to get better player development. Um, it's going to give a real sense of uh, beacon pride to everyone involved. The State of the Union of Women's Basketball right now is history was made last night in our game versus Plymouth State, where Olivia Murphy had her thousandth rebound. As a coach in my 10 years, I've never witnessed that. And it was definitely a special, special thing. And hopefully we can carry it for the second half of our season. Biggest focus in the winter and spring is to continue to get stronger um, and, and get some value, valuable match play in the spring trip. And afterward, we have a couple events. Um, I, I feel like we have a great team and all around um, one through six team who are all going to contribute and we want to continue that and you know basically work towards becoming an elite team in the LEC next fall. So far so good with our team this year really happy with our group um, we're having a good year uh, we're nationally ranked and uh, if you would have told me at the beginning of the year we'd be 12-2-1 uh, at this point in the season uh, I'd be very happy uh, our work's not done yet, and we've got uh, you know a lot of work to do, and it starts this weekend with another conference weekend, um, and they're all big down the stretch, and you want to be playing your best hockey come uh, you know post tourney time. So uh, hopefully we can do that. Hey, welcome to Beacons Nation. Um, I'm totally excited about going into this weekend's um, meet at Plymouth State. We're looking forward to our returners, Kelly Desain, Dom, and uh, Fritz Gustav, Chris, Cien, Xavier Romero, to name a few. And we have lots more freshmen that have been contributing week after week and have been doing really well. So I'm really excited for the season. Uh, yeah, I thought we had another pretty successful year this year. I think we could have done a little bit better. I would have liked to pick up the two trophies instead of the one, um, but that makes three trophies in two years. Um, you know, got to the NCAA tournament for the second round, uh, for the second consecutive year. Um, we return, I think, nine starters out of the 11 on the field, uh, bring back 20 players total. Uh, we've brought in already about 15 players for next year, including three goalkeepers, so our recruiting class is done. Um, good mix of freshmen and transfers. Um, and next year we'll be looking to make it five trophies in three years to um, the rest of the conference won. I'm really excited to see what the girls are going to bring on February 1st. Uh, they seem like a super dedicated group. They're enthusiastic. They are excited and ready to go. We've been communicating and talking about uh, the level of commitment and dedication that the girls have and I am fired up to see what February 1st brings. Men's tennis, uh, um, we, you know, we have a very young team. I, I feel like we've made a transition from you know, a core group of players that have were on the championship team all since graduated, you know, so it's exciting to have a new group. Uh, we definitely took our lumps in the fall, but I feel like we are going to be a much stronger team in the spring. We have a couple guys returning that we didn't have in the fall. As we begin our 2016 spring season, the, for, the future looks bright for the women's soccer team with a lot of young talent and a lot of young new talent that'll be coming in in the fall. And we're excited that we're building and continuing our success. If we continue to work hard this spring, the fall should be a lot of fun. And I'm really looking forward to it. With more than 20 new guys this spring, we're very excited for the 2016 lacrosse season. Guys are already back in the weight room with Jeff working hard, and we're very excited to get going with our formal practices on February 1st. Only about a month after that, we're on the road at Riviera on February 27th, ready to get our first W. UMass Boston Aquatics is not only the home of water safety and recreation on campus, it is home to 12 
guards, all of whom are beacons. The pool has a diverse group of staff, varying in age and ethnicity, that reflects the diversity of the university's student body. Swimming lessons and stopping by for open swim are great opportunities to meet our staff and other peers during time off from studies or on breaks. UMass Boston Aquatics is thrilled to be a resource to the university community as well as a beacon in the world of aquatics. Our ongoing mission is to be a leader in swim instruction, drowning prevention, and facility safety. Having said all that, the state of UMB Aquatics is ever illuminating. Hello everybody, welcome to Beacons Nation. I'm totally excited about this season. Our women's program have been doing great. Um, we're looking forward to returners Taylor Smith in the throws. Uh, All-American Hillary McGuffey in the two and the four, as well as Anisha Trappier in the 16 and 200. We're also excited to have newcomers such as uh, Taylor Driggers in the long and triple jump, as well as Lexi Bean um, and Sarah Morenz in the throwing. So we're, we're looking forward to a great season. Mass Boston in murals and recreation has come a long way in the last 50 years. We started with humble beginnings back in 1964 where those activities took place on the Boston Common and at the Greater Boston YMCA. Over the years our mission has continued to evolve and that is still happening today. We were always in keeping with the universities and the athletics department mission to promote student success. Some of the key components of that, the obvious to promote physical fitness, it's also important to us to promote uh, multicultural awareness, provide students with a sense of belonging or association to help them develop friendships and also to help them to relieve stress. Ultimately, we want to cultivate lifelong health and exercise habits that they'll be able to do for the rest of their lives. Um, intramural and recreation consists of aquatics, uh, intramural programs, fitness programs, and group fitness programs. In addition, we hit certainly have all state-of-the-art equipment, so there's always times where if you just want to come down and get on a piece of cardiovascular equipment or use any of the strength training equipment or perhaps play basketball, swim in the pool, or go skating, those opportunities also exist as well. We look forward to the coming spring semester, and our, one of our um, other goals is to try to get new students and staff down to our programs and facilities who really haven't been using them before uh, and we're looking forward to it. Hey, I hope you all enjoyed listening to our coaches as they talked about the state of their teams for the 2015-16 season. We're excited about what's happening this year and after listening to them I know that you understand the state of the beacon is strong at this point in time. I also hope that all of our students are taking advantage of the exciting programs that are being offered by the intramural team over in the Beacon Fitness Center. There are a lot of new programs. Please get over there and check it out. A lot of new things happening on the campus in athletics. We are uh, getting ready to open Monon Park, and I hope you get over and catch a baseball game. We're excited about the fact for the first time in our history, our baseball team will have a home field to compete on. That's it from Beaconland. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching. Look forward to seeing you out supporting teams. How does this year's championship compare to the last five that you guys have won? We're on to the next one. Six titles, tied for the most in conference history. How does that feel? We're on to the next one.